So Shape of Water was great. I don't think it's overrated at all. It totally deserves the praise it's getting. I'm going to talk about one thing that most surprised me about the movie. Now, Del Toro, I'm a big fan of his, especially his last one, Crimson Peak. I think very underrated. I really like that one. So I know he can pull off the supernatural elements, the more mysterious, magical elements. What I was amazed that he was able to do so well in this movie was capture... 1950s authoritarian that american ethos that is still around to an extent but was so prevalent in the 1950s and the way he was able to capture that and the way michael shannon was able to capture this the actor i thought was so impressive and i wish more people were talking about that part of the movie just the condescension that he has towards anyone that doesn't look like him when he says do you know what an affront is and it's not that he says do you know what an affront is? Maybe she doesn't. It's kind of a weird word. But just the way he says it, his voice just dripping with condescension. And when he has sex with his wife, just this missionary position sex, and smothers her mouth because he can't, he's so repressed sexually, he can't even tolerate her making any noise. It's just, again, just really captures that personality type. And I love how they paired this supernatural element in this 1950s Cold War environment and just showed how, for some people... No matter what it is they discover, no matter how magical or how beautiful, they're so short, they're so myopic, and they can only look at things in one way. Immediately, all they could think about, well, how can we use this to beat the Russians in the space race? It didn't affect their spirituality or their view of the world whatsoever. All they thought of, how can we harness this and use it to inch one step ahead of the Russians? And there's this great line he says, the scientists, they're like artists, they fall in love with their playthings. And it's just, it's interesting that. Again, how they don't, no matter how beautiful their playthings are, no matter what beauty they find in the world, they can only look at it in this utilitarian, use-based way. And Michael Shannon, I know there were so many brilliant actors in this movie, but I just cannot feel like he's just chronically underappreciated as an actor. What he was able to do, again, conveying this tight, repressed self, but then also showing as things start to unravel and fall apart for him and just show him slowly losing his grip on sanity and just the changes that come over him, I thought it was just an incredible awards-worthy performance, but instead seemed like the awards people, all they talked about was Richard Jenkins, who's a legendary actor and he gave a good performance, but I thought Michael Shannon's performance just so much better. And Octavia Spencer, again, so many other, Michael Stuhlberg, so many other great performances, but I thought he was just a standout. I really wish he got more recognition. So I'm not going to say too much about this movie. I think it's way better to go in cold like I did, but I did want to make a review because I wanted to talk about Michael Shannon's performance because it's easy to go, oh, why is no one talking about him and complain? is one thing to actually do it and actually say, okay, well, I'm going to start talking about it then. So I did want to make this video mostly for just kind of a tribute to him and what I thought was one of probably the best performances of the year.